Davis Ongiro, 13 years plus in the world of, um, in, in, in Octagon, as well as a wealth of experience in the world of insurance. Thank you very much for joining me on set. Thank you so much, uh, okay. In the time that you have been um, in operation, that you've observed the state of insurance in the country, are the youth taking up insurance? Um, well, they do. Um, so many youths are uh, now taking up insurance mm -hmm. um, uh, compared to previous years. Uh, probably uh, thanks to information that is going out there and um, and uh, s creativity that is coming out of companies. You know now most of the youth are now online. So if you are not able to get them on social media, on the online platforms, uh, you can't be able to get them anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So. Thanks to that, the innovation, the creativity in the industry now, uh, mm. we are having a lot of uptake from the young people. Um, whether they are taking medical insurance, whether they are taking motor vehicle insurance, whether it's domestic package, all that, mm -hmm. there's a, a growth in that sector. So as you had mentioned, actually, most of the youth and um, the population in the country, 99% of them access mm. um, stuff or information through their mobile phones, which means insurers should, should make sure that they optimize their services and uh, reach um, these people at their point of uh, contact, which is of course the, t the technology and the internet as it is. Mm. Um, you are from Octagon Africa. Is that happening in um, insurance companies? Is there optimization of services to reach the millennials in uh, their point of need? Um, you see what happens is, uh, Richard, is uh, if you are not innovating enough as a company mm -hmm. to take care of this demographic, pop the, 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 the this type specific type of population, mm -hmm. then you'll be definitely out of business. Mm -hmm. uh, most companies now, you can even find now, you can get a quote online, like what we do in our place. You can get, you can go to our website and get a quote. And within three minutes, you already have a quote. And like the traditional way you where you had to walk into, into an insurance office, get an agent, mm -hmm. or uh, go call them, sometimes some mislead you, now you have a point of information where you can be able to do reference to. Is it important and how is it important to have insurance? Um, I, I think maybe in the... The hierarchy of uh, the Maslow hierarchy, uh -huh. if I of could need. use that of <laughs> needs, <laughs> yes. I think now insurance should be a basic need. Ah. Yeah. Uh, so? Reason being is uh, we, you need, um, th there is a, we are living in a very dynamic world where everything is happening so quickly and so fast. You never know what is going to happen next. Mm -hmm. In 2020, no one at all ever predicted that one day we'll have a, a pandemic that will ravage lives and uh, we'll have people... Uh, um, have a, have a really need insurance. Let me give an example. We have seen uh, very many queries coming through requests for quotes this year mm -hmm. because of uh, COVID. Right. And most people are asking for medical insurance. Mm -hmm. Reason being is now people are realizing it is expensive not to have insurance. Mm -hmm. Take an example of your car. If you don't have insurance, what that means is if you get an accident, you'll just have to buy another car. Buy another car or use a lot of money to repair, repair your own car. Mm -hmm. So, but then the insurance company is telling you, give us about 3% of the value of your car mm -hmm. as premium, and then we'll be able to cover your car comprehensively. Mm -hmm. uh, our only thing is somebody who doesn't take s uh, risk seriously that will not be willing to part with 3%. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. I, I will say here confidently again mm -hmm. that uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's come a time where insurance becomes a basic need, mm -hmm. and uh, anyone that is without insurance, uh, completely messing up, including job losses. Right. Remember, some insurance, some uh, policies allow you to uh, compensate you when mm -hmm. you lose a job. Mm -hmm. So they'll give you like a six month salary mm. after you Once lose you a lose job. job. Yes, so right. so um, so many people are realizing that that is extremely important, especially from last year's experience. The first question that most of the people I interact with who are the youth ask is, isn't insurance expensive? Um. Depends on how we are looking at it, but uh, also uh, good things are not cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, good things are not cheap, confidently right. saying. Uh, we, However, uh, as years have gone by now, we're having insurance being uh, uh, designed for the younger people and even for the people who are at the bottom of the ladder. There is something we call micro-insurance. You can, for example, for a life cover or a last expense cover, you can get with 2,000 shillings. A paltry 2,000 shillings can be able to cover with the whole of your family against death. Mm. Honestly speaking, 2,000 shillings, uh, much as it could be a tall order for some people, it is extremely very cheap. Right. 
We have insurance companies that have even come with as premiums as little as 100, 100 shillings a month mm -hmm. to be able to provide an insurance. 100 shillings a month and, and shillings get and you insurance. Get, yes, yes, you can. And um, uh, some are even cheaper than what you pay for NHIF or 500 shillings per month for, for those who are not employed. So, ah. so I, I personally think it's not expensive anymore. Sometimes also what we don't have is, lack, is uh, information. Right. Um, so where does someone get the information? You um, need to get a good intermediary. Right. Who, when you need an insurance cover, you ask them, gi give me a quote. Then they are able to give you a quote uh, amongst all the insurance companies. Mm -hmm. You will always get one that is cheaper than the other. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes you will also find the difference between the other insurance company and the other insurance company. In terms of premiums, mm -hmm. it is almost double or, yeah. or nearer there. Mm -hmm. So we can be able always to get a difference. Only you need is uh, get somebody who works with you in the industry. So among the millennials, mm -hmm. um, insurance has been synonymous to brokers. So mm. there's usually in a lot of insurance brokering. Mm. How does that play? Um, and how do, how do people understand the place of brokerage, of insurance, and actual insurance? Um, I will actually now, well, with the self-declared conflict of interest, I'm um, a broker. <laughs> 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 right. I, I personally would always advise a client not to go buy insurance directly. Mm -hmm. Get to use a broker. Mm -hmm. You know what that means is this broker is not going to have any extra cost mm -hmm. on your premiums. Mm -hmm. In any case, you'll pay the exact premium that the broker or the insurance company de demands. But then what happens is when you will be having a claim, when you need servicing, this broker will come in to service you for free. Mm -hmm. You have that relationship. When you have a claim, this broker is the one to go ahead and follow up for your claim. Mm -hmm. So all that, the broker plays a very big role as an intermediary in the insurance industry that you cannot uh, afford to forego. Remember mm -hmm. also this insurance industry broker mm -hmm. has other businesses with the insurance company. Right. So when it comes even to bargain for you for a good deal they have for a wealth premiums, of knowledge. they have a wealth of knowledge, wealth of experience, and wealth of uh, experts in the mm -hmm. business that can be able to help you customize something that is good. Mm -hmm. Also analyze products mm -hmm. and quotes. When you get quote A, quote B, quote C, the broker can be able to tell you this one, in my analysis, this is better, mm -hmm. this is uh, slightly better, or this one needs, lacks this and that. So selecting um, life insurance, mm -hmm. I will say, has to make sure that for you to be, it is extremely important to select the right company mm -hmm. uh, for your insurance, I guess, mm -hmm. as well as your broker, and mm -hmm. also the right um, insurance. How does someone make sure that they are going to be insured by the right company? And is, is there something like the right company to insure you? Because there's, uh, there's so many companies out there that do insurance. Maybe, maybe, maybe so that I, I am not quoted as uh, saying that uh, they are right and wrong <laughs> companies. <laughs> okay. I'll say the, the, there is a lot of radical surgery that has been done in the industry. We have uh, the insurance regulatory authority has been able to weed out um, the bad the bad companies in quotes that used to exist before. But uh, how to settle on that, as I said again, is you need a good intermediary. The good intermediary will tell you that this insurance company can settle claims faster. Mm -hmm. This insurance company takes forever to settle, cla settle claims. Mm -hmm. um, there are many other things that um, a client will look at. One is the affordability of premiums, the promptness, mm -hmm. and um, the, of course the responsiveness in that angle as well. Right. Assuming all that is said and done, then the broker in comes in to tell you many other factors that you'll consider as, uh, as before you take that insurance. Uh, uh, product or insurance, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. No, so now, let us, um, I'll allow you to take us through a short journey mm. of someone who just started to go get insurance. Mm. So, um, I'm here, I'm seated, I'm watching Biashara Tuesday. I want mm. to get um, life insurance. Mm. So, how do I start? How do I begin? The, first thing, journey for that. the first thing that we need to know about our client is uh, what problem are we trying to solve in that client? Because uh, traditionally, what we've been doing as uh, the insurance industry, we want to sell so that we make more revenue. Mm. We need to change an angle where if I'm selling to you, I first want to solve the problem you have. You probably have just gotten birth to a child. You need something called an education policy. So me understanding that you, you have a child, you need an education policy for, you, for us to start covering you, then that begins the process. Then all I need to do is quickly go and get quotes from different uh, policies or products from different companies mm -hmm. and come and do a presentation to you. Right. Of course, do a, pro uh, an, a product analysis before I come to you. Mm -hmm. the, the other angle uh, could be, can we, can, um, uh, we you, you, you come up with um, 
other factors that can be able to get somebody more informed. Of course, there are issues of capacity building right. before I uh, take your product. For f if you, for example, your house, mm -hmm. you have uh, your TV, you have your phone, you have everything else. Mm -hmm. I also need to know whether is it your product you want to insure or, or your life? Else. Yes. No, so okay. once I know the problem that you are trying to solve, uh -huh. it helps us to get a solution that is uh, very well customized for you. Is there a waiting period before coverage takes place? In some products, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in medical, you'll find, uh, especially for 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 the people who are approaching retirement, mm -hmm. you'll find, uh, well, even the ones before retirement, you'll find like outpatient, before you access your medical cover for mm -hmm. outpatient, you have a 30 days waiting period. Right. You, for chronic illnesses, for example, if you are uh, somebody above age 60 or 65 there, mm -hmm. um, some companies will want you to have a waiting period for chronic diseases and pre-existing conditions of 12 months. Mm -hmm. So it is important when you are going to purchase that product, you get to know whether there is a waiting period. Oh. So they, they vary from product They to vary product. from products to products to products, and also it is important you try to use a broker to see whether they can be able to negotiate that waiting period for you, mm -hmm. especially if mm -hmm. you are coming from a point where you are getting uh, too many quotes, uh, you where you have an a company, for example, you want to negotiate something good for the company. Yeah. Are there been cases where, are there cases where the premiums are not paid to customers, and what leads to such? The benefits. I hope you you meant the benefits, the benefits being paid. Or yeah, or yeah. The premiums, yes. Uh, yes, yes. There are instances where the benefit is not payable mm -hmm. to the client, and uh, a very simple example is not because the insurance companies don't want to pay, but because one is you will find that the the client, for example, didn't pay premium. Mm -hmm. Then uh, another example is you would find that. Um, uh, the waiting period had not lapsed. For example, for a last expense cover, mm -hmm. you will find that for you to be uh, to be uh, get a benefit after you lose your loved one, mm -hmm. the member must have been in three months in a scheme right. or 30 days in a scheme. Right. You find a case where somebody has died out of natural death, but they hadn't finished the waiting period. Mm -hmm. Accidental illnesses and accidental deaths don't have usually a waiting period. So. Um, as long as you have met the requirements mm -hmm. provided by in your policy, mm -hmm. and that is something you need to understand very well, what does your policy document say? Right. And uh, what are the exclusions? Mm -hmm. In fact, even before you sign any insurance agreement, mm -hmm. you need to be sure what are the exclusions. Um, for example, is my th just the same way you said my wedding ring is it covered? Right. If it's not some of the things that are covered in your policy, mm -hmm. then probably you need to ask the insurance company, can you include, mm -hmm. or can you make an informed decision that you are not going to cover that? You are yeah. not going to cover that. So right. when it comes to a point of claim, mm -hmm. it is something understood. But uh, we have also seen cases where you find there is fraud. Mm -hmm. uh, from where we sit, we can't pay a fraud case. Yeah, mm -hmm. where we have sufficient knowledge. So this will be one of those cases where um, insurance policies are cancelled. Yes, are cancelled, and you cannot be able to get uh, so other a benefit. Other than fraud, are there any other circumstances that lead to cancellation of um, some of these um, insurance policies? Uh, other than that, um, really, there is, um, uh, except I ma majorly it is if you haven't finished the waiting period, mm -hmm. if it's a health cover, for example, mm -hmm. or... Um, some of the benefits that are cover are you took for a car. For example, mm -hmm. if you are taking your car, mm -hmm. there's something called um, uh, political violence and terrorism. Right. Your car was uh, in the university. Students started rioting. Um, God forbid. Well, now, now that I'm inside. <laughs> 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 if, if that happens, then mm -hmm. you remember your car, you must have covered it. Being comprehensive insurance doesn't mean that it covered uh, political violence and terrorism. Uh -huh. So, so you, you have must to have specific. picked that. Yeah, you have to be very specific. Yeah, so that we are able to, uh, you are able to be covered against that. You could take a motor vehicle and you haven't picked an option for courtesy car. Mm -hmm. So when you you don't have your car, it has gotten an accident. You want a courtesy car, mm -hmm. the insurance company will definitely not give you a courtesy car. Right. Um, Ramso is asking, um, what happens when I move to out of state or to another country? Mm. What happens to the insurance? So I guess this is mostly on life insurance. Yeah, but you, ideally, as long as you are remitting your premiums to the insurance company, mm -hmm. they will not have a problem. All you need to do is to find out how you'll be able to remit premiums. Mm -hmm. But uh, then you'll find uh, other covers like the medical cover, uh, it only gives you up to six weeks. That's about 42 days. Mm -hmm. While you are outside the country, you'll continue to be serviced, and any bills you accrue mm -hmm. for medical out of that, they'll still be reimbursed to you. Mm -hmm. So. It is also boils down to you understanding how long are you covered if you are in the diaspora mm -hmm. 
and uh, what uh, perils you are covered on. When you are have, there's something we call travel insurance. Right. Travel insurance, when you have picked travel insurance, if you incur medical bills, you lose your luggage, mm -hmm. that is reimbursed without too many conditions. Mm -hmm. So also get to know which is the correct insurance you need mm -hmm. or you want to have if, for example, you move out of the country mm -hmm. and uh, for how long will that be? For life insurance, mm -hmm. which is usually the most, um, I think, misunderstood, mm -hmm. I will say, mm -hmm. uh, part of insurance, mm -hmm. is there is there um, a cash out option if, if at some point you feel like you do not want to continue with the life insurance? Uh, well, the... The, the other angle also, there is always an exit clause in your policy document. So mm -hmm. uh, what you need to understand is um, the, there is a su something they call surrender value. Mm -hmm. So you need to ask them in case of a life, I want to exit out of this life policy, what is the surrender value? Mm -hmm. And when, because there, you can, there are some years you can't get the surrender value. Or even if you get a surrender value, it will be a too little amount. Mm -hmm. So would you rather you complete the 10 years or the 15 years you agree with the insurance company mm -hmm. rather than losing a lot of money? So those are the discussions that you must probably have. So I can confirm that there is always something called a surrender value. Mm -hmm. You can always get something. Mm -hmm. But then get to know when you can be able, be very clear on your policy document when you are reading it, when the agent brings it to you, ask them all those tough questions so that they make it very clear to you. Mm -hmm. Because one product is different from another product, mm -hmm. depending on the company that is producing that product. For covers such as health and life again, mm -hmm. um, are there changes probably in your lifestyle after the the, the policy is in effect. Are there, are there changes in my lifestyle that could lead oh. to changing of um, how the plan looks like? So for example, if I take my um, life insurance and later on I am involved in, like I change my lifestyle, how I eat, um, is there a physical exam that I, I have to attend even after that to, to see that I am in check with the terms of the policy? Uh, let me give an example of medical cover. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe forgive me for that bias. Uh, for medical cover, uh, you know it's an annual cover. Uh -huh. It's an annual agreement. Mm -hmm. But remember, for the company to hold you in their book, they must be satisfied that you are not too much of a risk <laughs> to have in their book. So uh -huh. uh, lifestyle changes, if for example, you change your eating pattern, you start having uh, changing too many things, then your body continues to deteriorate. Mm -hmm. Be sure not so many insurance companies want to carry that type of risk. Mm -hmm. Remember, we are also uh, in the business of making so right. uh, you definitely want to, uh, we, when, when we are in the office, I always tell my people is we are praying for no one to get to die, mm -hmm. no one to get sick, right. because then when they'll get sick, we must do what? We, we must, must give pay. them money. And when they die, we must also give them a benefit. So mm. um, it's, it's, there are some things that can affect. For example, you can also start doing dangerous sports. Mm. You are not doing that before. Mm -hmm. You are now, you are more of a risk. Mm -hmm. Or you get to start playing football or soccer. Mm -hmm. um, when you play those games, you are sure you might get an injury at some point. So right, or you start playing hockey and you might... Yes, yes. So, so insurance companies will always even want to understand what type of work you do mm -hmm. so that they know how to underwrite your risk. Right. Yes. So the process of underwriting, mm. um, could you give us a brief um, look into um, how exactly it, is it... Does it vary from one company to another or... Is, it, is there a uniform way that insurance works across all the companies? Um, I'll say there isn't a, a very uniform uh, uh, way of uh, underwriting, but mm -hmm. uh, what we have currently is what we call risk-based premium pricing. Mm -hmm. uh, risk-based is uh, basically I'm looking at uh, uh, what is this? Uh, I want to insure a KUTV. Maybe you guys will give me a deal before I leave, the I leave this place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to insure this. So I want to understand what type of cameras do you have? Mm -hmm. What are the, what is the value? Mm -hmm. So that, uh, and then do these cameras, for example, keep leaving the office year and often? Mm -hmm. If they do, then there is an extra risk of them being probably being damaged outside there. Mm -hmm. So once I understand every product, how uh, every, 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 my cover, I now go and put the parameters in the system, mm -hmm. then they'll come up with a premium, mm -hmm. but that is emanates from risk-based premium. Most okay. insurance companies are now doing that, are moving into risk-based premium pricing mm -hmm. so that to be able to cover a risk uh, uh, convenient to the premium that they are paying and to the risk that we are carrying on our book. Ah, all right. Now let's let's get back down to a bit um, of personal matters mm -hmm. and talk Octagon Africa. Mm. Um, what is it that um, Octagon Africa is for someone who's just um, hearing you for the first time? 
We are a financial services provider. It's uh, our company is Octa on Africa Financial Services Limited. We have um, a subsidiary company called Octa on Pension Services Limited and Octa on Insurance Brokers Limited and other companies below that. Mm -hmm. We have the other arm that deals with pensions. Mm -hmm. When you want um, part of your insurance that you can take care of your future mm -hmm. uh, or your savings for retirement is to do an insurance through a pension arrangement plan. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a brokerage arm that purely deals with brokerage of all classes of insurance. So whether you want medical cover for your um, mom <coughs> or your dad, whether you want that for your car, mm -hmm. we go out our way to ensure that we give you the best mm -hmm. uh, service. We are now in Uganda. Uh -huh. um, we are actually the almost the third largest there now. We are also in Zambia, uh, equally almost uh, among the top uh, five companies in Zambia. So, so we're really serious about the Africa we are, part. We are extremely also. very serious and mm -hmm. uh, we are going to why we, we are actually called Octagon Africa. Mm -hmm. So the aim is to... Yeah, when I started uh, out, I said Octagon Kenya and my director almost um, uh, burst in here. <laughs> with uh, so it's Octagon Africa. It's Octagon Africa. That's mm -hmm. the company that uh, we... That's the name of the company. Mm -hmm. But we, have a, we want to do a footprint for Africa. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we are also doing is we are giving uh, local solutions for local problems. Mm. Uh, we know how Africa behaves. We know what Africans need. Mm -hmm. So we are going our way to find our product and design products that are able to meet needs for the African So market. local solutions by local providers. By local provi yeah, local solutions by local providers for local problems. Ah, good. Yes. That sounds like a quote um, <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi said <laughs> some time back. Yeah. So now um, at Octagon Africa, when mm -hmm. did you start um, doing insurance? We have done insurance since the year 2010. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our, we added to our 11th year of service. And right. uh, we have a wealth of expertise, mm -hmm. both from our founders and mm -hmm. even for the staff that we have. Uh, so if a client ever needs a uh, service, be sure they are dealing with somebody who is a professional mm -hmm. and who is able to meet uh, uh, the needs that the client needs. Yeah. Right. So now that you have been um, doing insurance, I mean, we're starting out to you. We spoke about innovation mm. in this space, mm. um, especially for the demographic of um, the Kenyans who are coming up, who are the youth, mm. who have access to the internet. 99% mm. of them have smartphones. 87%, mm. a record 87% of them mm. have access directly to the internet. Mm. Um, what are some of the innovations that we've done in Octagon Africa in terms of retirement uh, benefits or um, benefits for the youth mm. or some of those insurance policies that are um, have, uh, have developed with time since you started out in 2010? Uh, what we have done, let me speak, let me start with the retirement benefit side where now you as a member when you are starting to save, mm -hmm. traditionally you had to walk into an insurance company or to a uh, pension services provider mm -hmm. to give you your statement. Mm -hmm. Now we have changed that and we've revolutionized that in the market. I think we could be uh, among us the uh, one of the administrators in the market with the best uh, system. Mm -hmm. So all you do is now you can get your statement online. Mm -hmm. You can apply for your benefits online. We don't need you in the office anymore. Right. Even before COVID came in, we had already uh, started providing. So wha all you need to do is you apply for your benefits, mm -hmm. your trustees approve that, mm -hmm. and the, then the service providers process your payment. Mm -hmm. Within a record time of less than 30 days, you have your your benefits paid to you. Mm -hmm. The same way we've done for insurance, where you will find that um, now you don't have to ask for me a quote. Mm -hmm. All you need to go is to our website, www.octawanafrica.com. Once you are there, you just key in the product you want and a request for a quote. Mm -hmm. Then they will give you a, a pro, a, a, an option for you to, to self-quote and gives you a quote and sends it to your email. And within one, one or, one or uh, two days, mm -hmm. it's something that we can be able to close on and close that business. Yeah. Right. Now, mm -hmm. um, from your perspective mm -hmm. as a company, according to the regulator for insurance, in the, the, regulation, the, re reg the regulatory body in the country, mm -hmm. um, there's been a lot of withdrawals mm -hmm. uh, from the premiums. Is this going to affect the insurance industry and to what extent? Um, I think it's going to, well, it's, it, whether, whether it's not whether it's going to or not. Mm -hmm. The statistic from IRA last year uh, b projected that there will be a decline mm -hmm. in terms of uh, uh, gross premiums. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have seen that happening. Mm -hmm. Out there, uh, people are struggling. And the, the difference between them and poverty, mm -hmm. or what is holding them and poverty, is probably the policy that you're holding for them. So we've seen a lot of withdrawals going through. We've seen people defaulting on premium payments, uh, not because they want, but because they don't have a source of a reliable source of income anymore. Right. We've seen people who have lost jobs 
the only thing they have is they run to us and pay their pension benefits, for example. Uh, so that is going to happen. Probably we are hoping that 2021 will be a better year so that our economy comes back, mm -hmm. more people get jobs, mm -hmm. so that we don't see uh, a decline, a continuous decline in terms of uh, uh, the premiums that we underwrite mm -hmm. and uh, what we are able to collect, and especially also the increased number of payouts that we are doing. Right, so um, um, Sam here is asking, mm -hmm. though I feel like we've already answered that, he's saying, why would I, rather, why would I not save instead of um, giving out in insurance? Why would they not save the money? Because I guess um, the angle they're looking at is when I save, uh, when I save this cash, mm. um, I will have it mm. whether or not something happens to me. But if I give it out to um, insurance, um, I won't get it. And if I save it, um, I will still get interest. So they want to know why it is prudent for them to go into, to insure themselves rather than save. Okay. Um, maybe a very, a very, uh, uh, the best way to respond to that is, is, uh, is this you yourself you are not an insurer you are not an investment expert mm -hmm. for that sake why sometimes we go to insurance companies why sometimes we go to pension services provider is we want to ensure we are giving our investment to the experts in the market so you you in what you do for example if for somebody who is not uh, very good in financial service uh, for finance management right. you'll find if they get half a million for example now they'll go and purchase a car, for example. Mm -hmm. Put it in the matatu. And uh, this car, they'll even forget to put insurance for it. Mm -hmm. It gets an accident. That is how you lose the whole, the whole uh, uh, amount, the whole capital that you had put there. Okay. But if you had put this money in a savings plan, and uh, for example, we have a guaranteed savings plan that gives you a minimum of 4% of income every year. Mm -hmm. Whether the year is doing good or bad, we are giving you a minimum of 4%. Wow, okay. uh, using that understanding, you'll be able to know that your money is safer here. Mm -hmm. And then the industry, the Insurance Regulatory Authority has put uh, structures in place that your money can never get lost anymore. Mm -hmm. you, the Retirement Benefits Authority through the pension schemes also has ensured that once you put money in a pension scheme, right. it is so safeguarded that it can't be lost. So, so many risks that you will think of, uh, one of it is uh, companies collapsing, all that are taken care of if you put your money in the right place. Right. So, my advice to him is to find a proper financial, for, uh, uh, a financial advisor mm. to be able to take him through investments and take him through the options that are available. It is not advisable to do investments alone. Mm -hmm. I, on the list, actually, you should be able to diversify. Put some money in the money market, put some money in a pension services uh, arrangement, something in a buy an insurance policy, all that, so that you are able to have um, an arrangement. Maybe the last example is to give that, um, mm -hmm. for example, in medical, right. you can't be able to save enough mm -hmm. for medical. Mm -hmm. uh, reason being is uh, you'll find that uh, you a premium, for example, you need for your medical cover of about one million mm -hmm. um, inpatient and outpatient of 100,000. You need a premium of almost 80, 90,000 there to be able to benefit from a limit of 1 million. So instead wow. of you saving, you can save up to 1 you million. You can save up to 1 million. Why don't you put in 80,000 into the insurance company right. and then they cover you for all that limit. So um, I'll, I'll honestly think we need to do a lot of uh, capacity building, mm -hmm. a lot of civic education out there so that mm -hmm. people can understand why you need an insurance. Right, um, Mr. Davis Ongiro, insurance expert and general manager at um, Octagon Africa. Of course, giving us some of those best nudges in terms of insurance. I hope that you've um, learned a lot this very morning. I think I have. Mm -hmm. um, now I know it's not important for me to insure my spouse's wedding um, wedding ring, but uh, it's really important that you insure yourself, especially in matters of health, um, for those products that you have. You hear, um, rather than saving, he says, um, for some of those plans that cover you with so much money. For example, the last example that is given is for your medical cover. You might have a cover that um, goes all the way up to one million. Instead of saving up to one million sum, you can actually um, give, it, give it out to a premium, to insurance, and so that whenever anything happens to you, you can get that. Did I get that right? You got that right, and uh, I think you're a very good student. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. So yeah. maybe your last remarks on where um, the viewers can actually find you at, um, physical or location for your offices, and as well as, again, your website. Um, thank you once again. I greatly appreciate the opportunity. We, we as Octagon Africa have our headquarters at uh, West Park Suits, 
uh, that is eighth floor. It's, uh, we are located along Ojijo Road, opposite Parklands Police Station. We also have an office in Kisumu. It's called Mega Plaza. That's our branch office. And we also have another office in Eldoret. We are in Uganda and Zambia. Um, our website is www.octagonafrica.com. We are available all the time. Everything that you need, we can be able to sort you. Uh, we have people who are uh, uh, customer service representatives who can be able to attend to you anytime that you want anything sorted, real time. So um, I will not do a lot of campaign, but I don't, <laughs> want, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to fail to mention that we are the best in this market. Mm -hmm. And uh, feel free to always engage us. We will always give you a service with a passion. They will always give you a service with a passion. That is what he says, and we are really grateful that we will have him this very morning here on Biasha Tuesday. I'll be taking a short break, but what is coming up next is technology, cryptocurrency. Um, th very many people for the past two weeks have been asking me whether they should invest or buy Bitcoin. Do you know how much Bitcoin is at the moment? How do you access it? Where do you get it from? This is Tech Voice.